All right, let's take a look at a clove hitch. Uh, we're using this very colorful stick uh, for demonstration purposes. There's two different ways you can tie a clove hitch that I know of. We'll talk about the, um, the working end version, which is the end of the rope, and then we'll talk about the uh, looped version, which you can just like, bloop, slide over the edge or something. So, to tie a clove hitch, which is just a nice way of secure, to secure a rope around something, uh, we're gonna take our end piece, and we are going to wrap over the top of your object that you want to secure to. We're then going to take your working end and we're going to cross over itself here and continue to wrap in the same direction. Going over the other side, you'll notice we've created kind of like a little bit of like an X right here. That's going to be important here in just a second. As we continue to wrap in the same direction, we're going to come up from the bottom here. So we wrapped around, and now where my thumb is at this X point, we're going to take our working end and go right up alongside here, parallel to it, continuing to wrap in the same direction. So we come up from underneath, like so. And do you see how I've got those kind of parallel lines right there? And then I also have these two like loops, one at the bottom, one at the top. And if we pull that closed, we have created our nice clove hitch. And there we go. And if the stick were a little bit larger, it'd be easier to dress nicely. But you'll notice on this knot that we have parallel lines right here. And then we have a line growing over the top kind of at an angle. Here's what it looks like from the other side. Kind of hard to see all the way around. So that is your clove hitch. It's a pretty nice knot. I like it a lot. It's a good way to secure around a pole or something. There we go. Uh, now let us talk about how to do it using an end, which is way easier. I'm just going to slide this off. So you can take your rope. Here's my rope. We're going to create a twist. I'm going to use my right hand to twist inward like so. You'll notice that for this loop, one piece of the rope is on top going around like so. We're going to grab the tail end of that loop and we're going to twist in the same direction we are twisting, and now, once again, for the second loop, pieces on top, and the other one goes around underneath. So I have two loops back to back, they're made the same style. We're gonna take these two loops and take your right hand, cross it over the top of the second one. So again, over the top of the second one. And now we're gonna grab this piece right here. Actually, I'm just kidding, that's for a different knot, but once they have them crossed over, there is your clove hitch. All we're going to do is take this, these two loops that have been overlapped, and we'll stick our object on there. Bloop! And then when we tighten this bad boy down, we have created our clove hitch. I prefer to tie it using the loop method. Let's try it one more time. So we have our line of rope. Twist number one, go down the line. Twist number two, cross over the top. Right hand goes over the top of the other one. And then you can just slide it onto your object, tighten her down by pulling both sides. Just kind of dress your knot nicely. And there is our lovely clove hitch. Turned it upside down, but whatever.